um, to upgrade it. So you'll be going from, um, huh, I guess it doesn't display the buffer on here for energy, but it's about a double in terms of energy per, um, storage capabilities. Um, same thing as before, same settings and everything. It just has a higher throughput. Um, so this is the crusher. So we can crush ingots into dust here. So let's say I wanted to make um, some gold dust. Can just put that in there and it will go ahead and make some gold dust for us um now this is where you'd upgrade your machine so let's say i wanted to upgrade my uh crusher with some speed upgrades you can put eight in at a time and it'll take a little bit for it to happen so each one you put in it increases that multiplier just a little bit however it also increases my energy my energy usage so i'll probably want to add some energy upgrades to increase my efficiency of my machinery Yeah, see? It's much faster now, but it's going through energy like no other. But now as I put my energy upgrades in, the efficiency of the machine increases. So as you can see right here, you can mouse over it. You can see that it's using less and less RF. So now we're making now we're making a ton of gold dust, and it's fast, and it's energy efficient as it can be. So that's that. Now that we've went over energy upgrades and item of speed upgrades, let's go ahead and talk about factories. Now, this is an example of a factory. I use a smelting factory, although any other machine mechanism will work fine. Now, see, you have the basic factory, which has three extra slots, an advanced factory, which has five extra slots, and an elite factory that has seven. We'll talk about the advanced and the elite later in later episodes, but for now, let's focus on how factories work in general. You see, you can also make these installer upgrades, and you can plop them down onto any other machine. So, let's say I want to make a basic... Wow, today's episode's riddled with issues, isn't it? As I was saying, let's go ahead and view the basic factory. Factory... Now. Oh, if I can grab it real quick. Very simple to make. It's just a piece of wooden planks, any type, and just some basic control circuits, some iron, and some redstone. And you, would, and you would apply that as follows. We're going to go ahead and apply it to this crusher real quick. Just right click. That's all you have to do. Now granted, in order you can't just upgrade from our machine to delete factor. You have to go from basic to advanced to elite. But now, our machine has three slots. So now that we're done going over factories, and we'll cover more of them in a later video, let's go ahead and talk about some of the more advanced material types. Let's go ahead and talk about the advanced circuit first off. I won't be covering any machines, not that I know of, that would involve that, it, that would involve the advanced circuit today. Although I, actually, you know what? I believe the purification chamber involves that, which we will talk about soon. It's very simple. You don't have to any use any machinery for it. It's just two enrich alloy against a basic control circuit to make an advanced control circuit. Now we won't use the reinforced alloy or the elite elite circuit at all in this today's video, but I figured we can go ahead and go over them while we're here. The reinforced alloy looks like this, and it's made inside of a metallurgic infuser using diamonds. Now, granted, you can compress them to save some, but it can be a lucrative, a lucrative business if you don't have enough diamonds stored up. It's just pretty simple. You just stick an enriched alloy in to make a reinforced alloy. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Diamond. I use some compressed diamond, and then just there you go. Just stick that in, and I'll go ahead and put some in, and there you go. I went ahead and upgraded the machine earlier as well. So now we have some reinforced alloy. And now we're going to talk about the elite circuit. The elite circuit is about the same principle as the one other ones behind it. It's just an advanced control circuit surrounded by a reinforced alloy. The next thing I want to cover, and that will be the final part of today's tutorial, is how to triple ores. And that involves quite a few things. First, I'm going to talk about the electric pump. This is a machine that can suck up any other any type of fluid. It can be upgraded as well, and it has an internal buffer of around 10,000 millibuckets. So here's my setup I made for for tripling ores. The first thing I I use is electric pump. By the way, just for convenience sake, from now on I'll be using a creative energy cell. That way I don't have to have a really slow wind generator set up. So right now I have it sucking up some water from an infinite water source and I'm traveling taking it over to this machine using mechanical pipes. This is a type of this is a type of pipe with a mechanism that can move fluids. Now, this is why you make a basic mechanical pipe, which is just a bucket and two pieces of steel. 
But if you wanted to use mechani advanced mechanical pipes like I'm using, you would do the same principle as the universal cables. Now this machine is called the electrolytic separator. This is probably the first entry into the world of mechanism gases for, for this tutorial. It's pretty simple to make. I'll look it up real quick. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna, you're actually gonna need to make it, is um, you'll need an electrolytic core, and you can just make this with five enriched alloy, some some gold, some iron, and two pieces of osmium dust. Then you'll go ahead and put that inside of this, which is gonna which is gonna use two enriched alloy, two pieces of redstone, two four pieces of iron to make the actual machine itself. This will separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. You can also upgrade this machine too, but it will become very energy inefficient eventually. Right now, we're making hydrogen and oxygen. For this tutorial, we don't actually need hydrogen right now, so we can actually set this to dump all hydrogen. We just need the oxygen for today. As you can see, it's pumping up water right now, pretty slowly because I haven't upgraded this one, and then it's sending it over to the electrolytic separator. Now this is a pressurized tube. This is a mechanism to pipe that can, tra that can transfer gases. It's pretty simple to make. All it involves is, if I can even, any eyes not want to be working today, is it? It's just two pieces of glass, two pieces of steel, and a piece of glass to make a pressurized tube. And like I said, as always, it's the same principle to upgrade. You just use an enriched alloy. Now this machine is the purification chamber, which I upgraded into a factory. This is probably one of the more advanced machines we'll be dealing with today. It involves the advanced advanced control circuits we talked about earlier. Some two, four pieces of enriched alloys and then two pieces of osmium, and get this, you'll need to use an enrichment chamber to upgrade into a purification chamber. We talked about that machine in the last video. So now, it actually takes the oxygen that we're receiving and pumps it into there. And so, we can go ahead and you get, we'll go ahead and use gold for an example. We'll go ahead and put some gold inside of that. We'll, and while that's going, I'll show you another feature. Um, Factories have the ability to auto-sort and auto-optimize how many items are each slot. So if I go and press that, it'll go ahead and move all the rest of the gold into the other into the other ones. Go ahead and have that set to output. And now that should be inputting. But you remember to set to auto-eject. And that's gonna crush that's gonna crush these clumps into dirty gold dust. While we're waiting on that, I'll go ahead and set that up for the next machine. Now that is going to become is going to be enriched into regular gold dust and the rest is history from there got that ready as you can see it's going to smelt into a gold ingot that's about it for today but before we finish up i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that gas upgrade i talked about earlier that's to be used in machines that use a type of gas it could be oxygen it could be hydrogen chloride when we get there it's any machine that involves making gas or using gas we can go ahead and make that and it's pretty we can it's a pretty simple recipe again it's just some some pulverized iron or some iron dust which we can use the crusher for that's going to increase our, our oxygen efficiency so that way we're not using as much as we can and it's less strain on the electrolytic separator that's about it for this tutorial so let's go ahead and finish up hopefully this tutorial from mechanism has been pretty helpful for you I enjoy making these tutorials, and as always, I'm always listening for what you'd like to hear next. Stay tuned for more.